Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I want to continue my back to basics guides for fresh start servers, and of course legacy. And in this one, we will be again checking out the New World boss loot we can get now since the launch of Brimstone. I think these are important because as you know on fresh start, people will be hitting 60. But unlike on Legacy, there is no market stuffed to the brim with crafted bis gear, or pages and pages of ward gear for mutations. It truly is a fresh start. And with that, people are going to be needing gear, stuff much better than the garbage we get from factions at 60. This guide is a part 3 in a series. If you are new to the channel or missed the other two, I have linked them in the description. I have also timestamped this video as well as the other ones to make it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. That way you don't have to sit watching every boss that you might have no interest in. Also, every boss I cover in these videos is soloable. All of this gear can be farmed alone. No need for a group. But hey, if you want to farm with a group, then that's great also. So with that said, let's get into the video. So the first boss we will be looking at is Kilgoran. This guy is a corrupt boss found here in the Temple of Earth in Evanscale Reach. This guy drops some really interesting loot. The stuff you can potentially get from him are the Unrelenting Mercy, a round shield with strength, strike shield ward, sturdy and fortifying shield rush, and another shield, Stability of the Mountain. This shield comes with Constitution, Sure Footing, Nature Shield Ward, and Sturdy. A Void Gauntlet, War Shade. This Void Gauntlet comes with Focus, Intelligence, Enchanted, Mortal Power, and Luck. A one hand sword called Ember Strike. This sword comes with Constitution, Chain Fire, Mortal Energy, and Contagious Reverse Stab. It is also socketed with a ruby. You can also farm this guy for a nice earring, Tarot's Ritual Trinket. This comes with Constitution, Intelligence Split, and Refreshing, Focused, and Healthy Toast. And finally, the main reason you will want to farm him, especially people on Fresh Start. He drops a great sword, and probably the best PvP great sword you can get outside of crafting one, and that is Fighter's Blade. This greatsword comes with dexterity, plague crits, relentless freedom, and enchanted. Wow, that guy drops a ton of loot. And moving on to our next boss. This boss is Lord Sobek. He is of course a giant alligator found here in Brimstone Sands, and he drops some pretty interesting stuff. The items you can potentially farm from him are the Royal Lagoon Chess Card. This medium chess piece comes with dexterity, vigor, resilient, and physical aversion. And Crown of Sobek. This is a heavy helm with strength, angry earth ward, vigor, and physical aversion. And finally, Sobek's Mighty Swipe. This Great Axe is especially cool, because if you notice, it comes with three direct damage perks. This is not supposed to be a thing, but here it is. This Great Axe comes with Constitution and Strength Split, with Trenchant Strikes, Enchanted, and Ruinous. And next up, we have the Well Guardian. This boss drops a very nice rapier, Motherwell Wisher's Wand. This rapier comes with Dexterity, Keen, Vicious, and Keenly Fortified. A great weapon, especially on Fresh Start. And also a very unique round shield, Motherwell Wisher's Coin. This shield comes with Constitution, Lightning Shield Ward, Rogue, and Refreshing Move. And this of course is the only shield with Rogue on it that can be worn and you can still be in light. And of course the Greatsword, Sword of the Defender. This Greatsword comes with Constitution and Strength Split, with Vicious, Mortal Fortification, and Refreshing Ward. The round shield here is truly the most interesting thing he can drop. And the next boss we will be looking at is Nape the Mangy. This hyena type boss can be found here in Brimstone Sands. The items you can farm from this guy are Mange, a rapier with dexterity, keenly jagged, keen, and angry earthbane, and a bow, Flea Bite. This bow comes with dexterity, refreshing move, plague crits, and keenly jagged. And the next boss we'll be farming will be Putris. This is a little alligator pet boss, who, although is super easy to kill, drops a ton of great loot. The stuff you can farm from him are Putrefication, a great sword with dexterity, enchanted, keenly empowered, and plague crits. Another great option for a starter PvP sword. And Rotten Limb, a void gauntlet. This comes with focus intelligence split, putrefying scream, keenly jagged, and chain void. And Jungle Strike, a spear, with dexterity, refreshing evasion, sturdy, and bleeding sweep. And of course the rapier, putrid fishbone. This rapier comes with dexterity, keenly jagged, enchanted, and keen. And the next boss we will be looking at will be the wolf, Sabnak. This guy can be found here in the oasis of Brimstone Sands. The items you can farm from him are an Ice Gauntlet. This Ice Gauntlet comes with Intellect, Healing Tomb, Trench and Recovery and Keen. And Grasp of Amit. This Void Gauntlet comes with Focus and Intelligence Split, Refreshing Ward, Mortal Power and Refreshing Rupture. And our next boss is a familiar one, and it's the Grotto's Thorn, found here in Reekwater. This guy has seen a ton of stuff added to his loot table. So now the stuff that he can drop are Rampage, a greatsword that comes with strength, mortal energy, vicious, and keen. This is an amazing greatsword for just pure raw DPS. 
and the Grotto Seed, this lifestaff comes with Focus, Blessed, Siphoning Blow, and Kind, and the One Hand Sword, Grove Warden. This sword comes with Strength, Angry Earthbane, Refreshing Move, and Chain Void. And our next boss, again very familiar, is the Surgeon, found of course here in Reekwater. This guy now drops Soul Strike, a great sword, which comes with Strength, Steadfast Purification, Keen, and Trenchant Rend. Rediger's Sail Hook, this earring comes with Strength, Refreshing, Luck, and Healthy Toast. A Void Gauntlet named Bone Rot. This Void Gauntlet comes with Focus and Intelligence Split, Diminishing Orb, Keenly Jagged, and Keen. And a Round Shield, Oath of the Pacifist. This shield comes with Constitution, Sturdy, Strike Shield Ward, and Refreshing Evasion. And our next boss, again found here in Reekwater, will be Thorn of the Heartwood. This guy drops Self Reflection, a greatsword that comes with Constitution and Dexterity Split, Refreshing Ward, Thwarting Strikes, and Keen. And Voyage's Passage Token, an earring with Dexterity, Refreshing Focused, and Refreshing Evasion. And Razor Talon the Great Axe. This axe comes with Strength, Angry Earthbane, Mortal Life Steel, and Keenly Empowered. And our last boss for this chapter will be the Titanic Saturnus. This guy can be found here in Brimstone. He can drop the Titanic Strength, an earring with Strength, Despised, Purifying Toast, and Nimble. A great tanking earring. And Titan Wall, the Tower Shield. This shield comes with Constitution, Refreshing Ward, Sturdy, and Fortifying Shield Rush. Not a bad boss for new 60 tanks to farm. Okay guys, that's all for the bosses for today. But wow, really, a ton of great loot. I do hope this helps some of you fresh 60s or players who have decided to roll in the fresh start to get some gear and get rolling into those mutations. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.